Hey there. I love Ned Fritz, Texas's most famous environmentalist and one heck of a lawyer. He bestowed on me through his group TCON, now known as Texas Conservation Alliance, a journalism award. I was just 22 and floundering. Suddenly my life had focus. Now I've been in journalism for over four decades, all because of Ned. Let me tell you about Ned Fritz. His coalition defeated plans in the early 70s to turn the Trinity River into a concrete line barge canal all the way to the Gulf. Can you imagine? In the process, he saved much of the great Trinity forest from destruction and brought this wonderful treasure to the public eye. The Trinity Toll Road, he fought that too. And in every endeavor, he was ably aided by his wife, Jeannie. But it pained me to discover as I was writing while DFW that much of the online media coverage from the 80s to the aughts had been taken down. Ned's legacy was slipping away from the public eye. Christy Kerr Leonard discovered the same thing when she was creating handouts for the restoration teams working the Ned and Jeannie Fritz Texas Buckeye Trail. We decided that something had to be done. A Ned Fritz biography to bring his entire legacy into one place, including all that Jeannie had done to aid his causes. Plus, there's a generation of nature lovers who just don't know Ned. Jeannie's always wanted a biography of Ned. She just turned 98. We have to do this now. So I'm reaching out to you for help. It's gonna take me over 700 hours to write Ned's biography, and it's best done as a website, a big website which will take a bunch of money to create. Ned's legacy goes well beyond Dallas and ranks right up there with John Muir and Aldo Leopold. Ned's the founder of the Texas Land Trust movement and the father of nature preservation in Texas. He helped start the Nature Conservancy in Texas in the mid-60s, and that led to 16 preserves right off the bat. He founded a group in the early 80s that became the Texas Land Conservancy. Because of that, over 50,000 acres are saved. The Big Thicket National Preserve, all 100,000 plus glorious acres of it, might not exist without Ned spearheading that campaign in the 60s and 70s. Vast amounts of our state's national forests in East Texas would have been clear-cut and turned into fine plantations without Ned's lawsuits in the 80s. He stimulated a national forest reform movement. When it comes to trees, Ned was the living Morax. Yet there's more. Ned went to bat for golden eagles, red cockaded woodpeckers, golden cheek warblers, Harris hawks, and Atwater prairie chickens stopped needless reservoirs and saved rare bottomland forests, wrote three important books, won many national and state awards, inspired legions of eco-defenders who went on to do great things. But Ned's biography has to be done as a website because you can't go down cutting down trees in tribute to such a famed forest defender. It's going to take lots of photos and videos to bring this legacy alive an action guide with links to eco-groups and resources so that we can train future Neds and Genies. Plus, a website means that anyone, regardless of income, can read it and be inspired by it, and that's important. Here's where you come in. With a print book, I could get a publisher advance and cover my 700-plus hours of work with book sales, but a website has to be crowdfunded. A fabulous team is making this noble idea possible with Christy as project manager and Scooter Smith as webmaster. The team believes so much in this project, we're willing to work at half our usual professional rates. We've been blessed with some great donators so far, and we are so grateful to you all. But it'll take a lot more donations to fund writing a 60,000 word book, fund pages and pages of website creation, process hundreds of photos and videos, and cover website hosting for 20 years or more. I invite you to visit the Ned Fritz Legacy Project at nedfritz.com. If you are so moved, please donate to it. Even a little will go a long way. If enough of you give. We've got some mighty nice thank you gifts for donators. 
There's a blog on the website where you can watch the project grow. That's netfritz.com. Help us out, folks. Ned deserves this. Many thanks, and I'm grateful to you for listening.